The National MS Society funds promising research that will stop MS in its tracks, restore lost function, and end MS forever. We engage the world's thought leaders and people living with MS to develop the society's research strategy to prioritize research questions that will lead to breakthroughs in research and breakthroughs for people living with MS. So I think it's really important for us to understand why some people get MS and others don't. No one else in my family does have multiple sclerosis, but I have three children, so it weighs on my mind heavily. We know that MS is in part genetically inherited. We know that the disease is more frequent, is more prevalent in certain populations than others. We're still unsure what are the biological mechanisms that lead to disease onset. And studying the risk factors probably will teach us what are these biological processes that are taking place so we can either design strategies to prevent the disease or maybe treat the disease better and try to remove individuals from specific exposures if it's feasible. What interests me the most most recently are things like the findings about probiotics and that your gut bacteria determine a lot of the stuff that you get. The gut microbiome may be different in people living with multiple sclerosis. And this combination of an understanding of the genetics that drive disease and environmental triggers that drive MS will eventually lead us to a point where we're able to prevent MS from occurring in the first place. Our, another focus of our research is understanding all of the pathways that lead to disability progression. For some people, MS is just a nuisance. For others, it produces benign symptoms. And for others, it still is a devastating and rapidly life-altering condition. Well, I think because there is no cure, we do the best we can do to slow down what's happening. The approval of Ocrevus is incredibly rewarding to me personally, but the most exciting thing is that because of the research that was done by many people, a treatment is now available that represents a sea change for people with MS. The treatment also sends us back to the laboratory armed with new ideas about the fundamental cause of MS and the drivers of progressive MS. This work could never have happened without the support from day one of the National MS Society. The nervous system has a tremendous ability to repair itself. My hope is maybe there is something out there that can help me to regain some of the, some of the functions, some of the things that I've lost and continue my, improving my quality of life. In my lab, we're very interested in understanding how myelin is formed because we think that if we can understand the developmental program that drives myelination, we can harness that program. I think it's possible that within the next few years, we will have new drugs to promote myelin repair. I would love to get my nerves fixed. So am I afraid of my daughters that they have MS? What I am determined to do is I'm determined to walk and dance at their wedding. And that means that I gotta take care of myself. People with MS want to know how to live well. How good is my balance? How healthy is my diet? Sometimes it's like, have you had enough water today? Are you sleeping enough? Have you had greens and fruits and vegetables? A lot of people with MS ask me what diet they should be doing for MS. As far as uh, nutrition, diet, and exercise, I've, I've found a really strong correlation. I've been doing Pilates, I think, for about five or six years. I've lost track. It helps me climb the stairs that I have to climb to my front door, 24 steps. It helps me carry my groceries up the stairs. There is growing evidence that lifestyle factors and wellness activities can increase the quality of life for people living with MS. We also recommend um, a healthy diet and physical activity because cognitive resilience is built over time. The MS Society supports science and sticks with the scientists and helps also bring together groups of people from different disciplines. All of these are necessary if we're going to make meaningful success against this complicated problem. Sometimes there's more ideas than funding available. So the MS Society really feels it's this niche to fund great ideas that otherwise would have been never realized. People with MS understand that we're all in this together. This is a partnership, and without their support, our work would be impossible. 
It's the entire community that enables the progress that has happened over the last 15 years. The ultimate goal of the Society's research efforts is to stop MS in its tracks, restore lost function, and end MS forever.